they have gifts, they have toys, especially this time of year with the holidays. They're already in full, I think, Christmas mode, and I showed you uh, the Christmas tree I got. I thought I'd come out in the little side yard for a minute. This is my little neck of the woods. I've already done a couple of Dollar Tree videos in this outfit, and I thought, well, What's one more? And probably I might be in a different outfit for part of this video because today we're talking about tractor supply. Uh, I go twice a month to stock up for feed. Let me see. And I save up to stock up a little bit more for the winter time because we never know when the snow might hit. We didn't get a whole lot of snow last year, but my husband, I know, was grateful we were stocked up when I was sick. And uh, then I could just call it in or get online, call it so easy now. Get online. I usually just repeat my order from the time before, and they bring it out to the car. So that helps us because we don't have to load it in the store. We don't have to load it in the car. We just have to get it out of the car, put it in the container or wherever else we're putting it. So that has really been beneficial from Tractor Supply. I have numerous pairs of Tractor Supply boots, mainly with chickens. I might have one paisley. For some reason, I'm thinking I have a blue paisley because I love paisley. But if you're all into chickens or horses, I know they have a lot of times boots with them. I've got company. Uh, it's a good place to go. Clothes-wise, I very seldom buy any of their clothes because it's not something I want. I think I might have bought a t-shirt or time or two, but they've got a lot of cute items. So, But they also have, you know, the stuff for your animals. And they have stuff for your yard. Yeah other than just the grass seed and the plants and all that. Well, I earn points somehow when I order food for my animals. And so I got a notification I had $10 off. And of course I had a month to use it, but there's been a month or two that when I've lost it. So I wanted to make sure, so I told Kenny, I said, while they're loading up, loading up the feed, I'm going to go on Tractor Supply and see if they got maybe something for my yard. Well, I'll show you what I originally got with the $10 off in a minute. Kenny said, while you're in there, and I knew I wasn't taking my $10 off for this, can you pick up some more scoops? He, because uh, our dogs are good for chewing up. And our two red ones are still good. But he asked for them, and so I'll get them, put them up, because when he feeds, he can use these. Me and my forgetful brain's going to keep using the red ones till I can't use them. <laughs> so I got him a couple of green ones. These are really good. They're three quart. I just use them for food. And I have used them. I put some when I needed just a tad of water or something. When I was up there, I might scoop like that. I got Eli some of these. They had a mark down from $1.99 to $1.49. I don't know if they had these at the Dollar General or not this year because I tried my best to stay away from candy. I even stayed away from candy corn. But then there's a story to the candy corn that I avoided in some video. I don't know when. <laughs> Marshmallow Pete's Pumpkin. Eli and I both like these. There's three servings in a container. You can say two servings. We usually, he takes half and I take half. But then again, he might have all these because these aren't soured. I like sour ones. <laughs> okay. I thought. And it was on sale, okay? I can't remember. If I find the ticket before I get the video done, I don't know. 
oh, $14.99. It was the regular price. Maybe it was an ounce set. I thought things were 20% off. I need to find my ticket because it may have been 20% off. I got an old timey radio wax warmer. I love this little thing. It's got little buttons. Of course, I don't think they move. No, nothing moves. But it's a nice wax warmer. Not only is it good for here, <laughs> It would be good for a gift for somebody that likes the vintage items. And if I had paid regular price, I gave $4.99 for it. We're going to say I paid regular price unless I found out different. But I'm thinking they were 20% off. Brown Ceramic Radio Wax Warmer. Well, I went down a rabbit hole. I'm not doing a whole lot of buying for Christmas. You'll see a little few odds and ends that I might have bought here and there in my Dollar Tree mainly. Some items I did get at Hobby Lobby because I went with my sister. That was a mistake. Not going with her, but going to Hobby Lobby. But we love these ceramic trees. And this is a light up tree wax warmer. Regular $24.99. So if I use just my $10 coupon, it'd be $15. But for $24.99, look how big that thing is. You take off the top part, place your favorite wax melt on it, plug in, and turn the electric warmer on. Christmas. This is something I like. Michelle got me one, a smaller one, one year at... Uh, Aldi's, I think. And I think I got her a bigger one on Amazon one year. Make a good gift, too. You'll see these in the house. When I, when I get things straightened up a little bit, I'll show you. But we're going to say I gave $4.99 for this unless I come back before the video's over and tell you different. <laughs> I forget what I got last month is in the house. Yeah, I'm slow because we've been doing, I know people think we do a lot of shopping. Well, we do a lot of shopping at the Dollar Tree and sometimes vintage stores and stuff or thrift stores, but actually I love being home and doing what I do today with the dress I like to wear when I'm out uh, cleaning and stuff. I've had it for years, but I ripped it. Look here. On a fence. That's why I don't need to be wearing my longer stuff out here. Yeah, I did it. So now i got to cut it down and rehem it. I'll keep it for as long as it'll stay together. I don't even remember where I ordered it from. I know I got it online. Of course, I need to downsize a little bit since I got it, but I love it just the way it is, except for the rip. I found my receipt down here. I need, I'm glad I did this tonight because tomorrow I've got black old sunflower. I got some new bird feeders. I'm wanting to get some yellow finches in here. It says it holds most seed types. I need to get some milk thistle. That's some kind of thistle for the finches. But I got one in brown. And one in green. Just have something different. $5.99 was $7.89 marked down, but it had been $9.99 by Royal Wayne. So that's a, that was a $4 savings on this. And I found my receipt, so I can tell you now. I won't end the video till I go in. And uh, maybe now, it may be later, because I'm supposed to be making breakfast for supper. Biscuits and gravy. Eggs. Oh. The light up tree wax warmer was on sale for $19.99. So it was on sale. 
$19.99, and it was regular $24.99. So save $6, right? Then, the brown ceramic radio was $11.99. Or you could say that I paid $1.99. That sounds better, don't it? I can say I paid $1.99 for that. <laughs> With the $10 off for I paid $9.99 for the tree. So we're going to say $1.99 for the radio. The marshmallow peeps was winded up being... This is before they took the $10 off. It was $149. The scapes were $599. Oh, the plastic bird feeders. $479. $479. So, yeah, that was a great deal because what they did is kind of like Dollar General. They took, I paid $49.41. Does it say how much I saved? I don't think it says how much I saved, but uh, what they did was take it off like the Dollar General store does so much off of each item that you buy instead of the 10 off at the bottom, which I don't understand that. It, I'd rather them just take the 10 off at the bottom, but they don't. But before I post this, I will let's see, show you a couple more items that I get when I go tractor supply. I can leave these out here for now because they have to be took up on the hill and I can leave my bird feeders out here. Well, I better take them on the porch. It might rain, I don't know. The rest of this has to go in the house. I need to show mama. That's what I gotta do. I need to show her for $19.99 for that big of a lit ceramic tree that's a warmer. That's a good deal. I'll be back. I'll be back, little ones. I thought if I'm gonna get this tractor supply haul done, I thought I'd just bring this stuff out. This is the next day. It is. And I went back there to turn on the star. Still haven't figured out where I want to hang it. And then I got sidetracked with the cat. And I was going to uh, take a picture or something. And then I realized I had y'all up here. So, something. I'm probably sitting on a, yeah. <laughs> I heard something crackling. It's the leaf. But getting back to tractor supply. They have gifts, they have toys, especially this time of year with the holidays. They're already in full, I think, Christmas mode, and I showed you uh, the Christmas tree I got. Well, the last time, I hope it starts being once a month. I need to check. I need to check my email. Yeah. But they had the red shed. Right up my alley. I got it for ten dollars off. Regular nine ninety nine. I mean nineteen ninety nine. But it's a a wall one for the wall and to put on a counter or wherever you want to put that. It's mason jars. It says farm fresh preserves and it has roosters on it. So, this was the only item I walked out with that day. And it actually has cider. This one actually has two things of mulled cider. Golden apples with cinnamon cloves. Oh, we got to try these. I had to get it. I like that. It says that, let me see. I bought a reusable shopping bag that day too. I actually had the receipts 
stuck on that. I don't know why, but it was $9.99 plus tax. Uh, I think in Quita or somebody was with me when I got this a while back summer. If, I don't know, but it seems like it has everything you need to grow strawberries. It's called a pick a poo pick a boo planters strawberry grow kit it says it includes everything you need i know i didn't get 14.99 for it it was at least 50 percent off that day this was another ten dollar day it was 50 percent off and then i bought a a time which i'm not sure it made it and i didn't pay little or nothing either kit includes everything you need but I never got around to planting it when I think it should have been. So my thing is, I'm not doing real well with strawberries. If Eli doesn't want to, I'm thinking this would be a cute gift for a child that loves fruit, loves strawberries. I'd take this back up. Well, I got it on upside down. So I've not done anything with that one yet. Uh, I bought different items through the years, whether it be for the yard, uh, dirt, pine shavings, of course, everything for the animals, but, and the two largest of my manufactured runs up there came from Tractor Supply years ago, maybe five having issues now the wood's so soft and uh where we've had so much going on i never did seal it with any kind of seed or anything so i'm gonna blame myself for it so kenny's just mainly doing fix up on it till we uh figure out exactly how i want it but i will tell you it's been well worth it because i got it at both to it cat. Really great prices. Got one eating back there. One cleaning right here. It's funny. But thank you for watching this tractor supply haul and uh, see what you can get. They've they even got a section that's gifts. Little trinkets and different things. I bought some small farm animals to actually put in a barn that I bought 30 something years ago. And uh through the years where birds were building in it and stuff, it kind of got carried off the different, the hay and the little animals and stuff. So uh, you can find things like that there too. But thank you for watching. And until next time, I was watching Lexi. We'll talk soon.